Welcome back. Many products that we use every day can be recycled. Angela Poe and Joe Benzel are here to tell us what materials are recyclable and the appropriate bin to place it in. I was just saying, I think this is a great segment <laughs> because I, so many people get confused. You say, I mean, you have like city leaders right. asking you sometimes, right, right. what can I recycle? So that's the question. What can people recycle here in Lexington? So the basic answer to that is plastic bottles and jugs. If it has mm -hmm. a screw top, we're good, but that's the only plastic we take. So yes to this, no to this, or mm. this. So, um, and uh, glass, aluminum and steel cans, mm -hmm. mixed paper, and cardboard. Okay, now my mom's always telling me to take the lid off of the plastic bottles. Does that matter? Um, the lid is not technically recyclable, and we have a lot of schools in Lexington that are collecting mm -hmm. them and saving up for those benches, so that's a great option. The lid is not one of the things that causes problems for us at the Recycle Center. The things that really cause this issue is anything that can wrap around, because it's, it's machine sorting mm -hmm. assisted by people. So we want to keep the machines moving, and we want to keep the people safe. So plastic bags do not do not bag your recyclables. Gotcha. Um, that gets wrapped around the equipment. They have to shut everything down, go in, cut it out, mm -hmm. and then restart the line. So that's right. that's what leads to backups in our center. Now I know the city preaches, you know, recycling right. What exactly does that mean, and why is that so important? So recycling right is um, it's the goal to decrease contamination. Mm -hmm. And contamination means anything that you put in the bin that is not actually recyclable. So stuff that is actually trash but people think is recyclable and you know our main our main problem is plastic bags mm -hmm. or liquids and right now especially there's during winter when it's raining a lot there's a lot of moisture in the system and that water actually freezes and can end up um, harming it overloads the motors right didn't so, it just break down last week yes we yeah. are back up and running though that's awesome today. Yeah. but uh it caused a two and a half hour shutdown on oh. Thursday which backed us up so. I'm sure that was fun. Yes. So let's talk about some of the most common mistakes that people can avoid right now. Okay. One of the most common mistakes is freezer boxes. Mm -hmm. Freezer boxes are wax coated and do not are not recyclable. So if it goes in the fridge or freezer, you can't recycle it. If it is a regular cardboard box, mm -hmm. this is recyclable. You just have to break it down and make it flat. I've been doing that so. wrong. <laughs> so these are not recyclable. The regular cardboard is recyclable. Gotcha. So anything waxy, mm -hmm. they know. Yes. Yes. If it goes in the freezer or the fridge, it usually has a wax coating, which allows it not, which prevents it from being broken down to be recycled. And if anybody so. has any specific questions, where can they find you guys? Live Green Lex on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we encourage people to um, tag us and ask us questions. Use the hashtag RecycleRightLex and tag at Live Green Lex, and we will answer because we're happy to help people. We know it can be. There's little tricks, and we're happy to help people navigate. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.